All right, from rehabbing Johnny Carson's old pad to a wedding that could have paid for the property 83 times over. Norm Clark is in the know. Fortunately, he is here with all the details. Norm, you brought details. Details, details. All right. I'm a details freak. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, let's talk about this home. We showed a picture of it earlier on the show. A little bit of Vegas history there. Yes, um, Johnny Carson, when he came into headline, had a, a Vegas pad and sure. that he purchased, and it's over on um, it's over on uh, East uh, Desert Inn mm -hmm. in the Paradise Palms area, and that was really kind of celebrity central back then. Really, and now it's kind of there's some there's some burned out homes there, squatters, etc. But they um, somebody has purchased this and they're um, remodeling Get it. Get a rehab it a bit. Rehab which it. Which is nice. Exactly. And Joe Lewis used to live there. And oh, next yeah. door. Um, Did Joe um, Lewis buy it from Carson? It looks like he know, lived in the era. I don't know. I, after I, I know that he lived in, in there in the 70s. He died mm -hmm. in 81. But uh, Marilyn Monroe supposedly <gasps> lived right next door to the you Carson know, home. You know I love my Marilyn Monroe. Well, she lived there and she also lived downtown leading up to her divorce. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, she's got some history in Las Probably Vegas. Probably one of her divorces. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, well, that's really interesting. We'll have to keep tabs on, on how the house yeah. turns out. Yeah. Um, you wanted to talk about a very extravagant wedding that really truly is the talk of the town a right now. A whopper of a wedding. Yes, yeah. Uh, yes, um, uh, Kelly Fertitta. Mm -hmm. uh, a daughter of, of one of the of UFC, uh, Frank Fertito, one of the UFC um, people that turned the UFC into such mm -hmm. a monstrous, Founders, yeah. yeah. Um, they supposedly had, according to Johnny Katz of, of, of the RJ, a $25 million wedding. Uh, most of it was held up at the Red Green Valley Ranch. Uh, Red Rock Resort. Is that what I, did I say right. up there yes. at Green Valley no, Ranch? No, they're owned by the same people, <laughs> All so right. wonderful. Exactly, thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, you know, everybody's talking about this. So a $25 million price tag, pr presumably. And I, I, I have to admit, I'm just... Uh, I'm blown away because I don't even know how you would go about spending that much well, money. To yeah. me, that is overly extravagant. Well, they had um, they had Bruno Mars, uh, the Chainsmokers. Uh, I think John Mayer uh, performed at maybe like mm -hmm. a brunch or something. Mm -hmm. uh, now that's maybe three million there. So uh, my guess is they flew in a lot of people. Um, I think the uh, wedding planner charge the healthy amount. Yes, well, Didn't I tell you. Did you have that wedding planner? I thought you would have that same wedding planner. Yes, right. Oh. Well, you know, and you know the funny thing is, is like even with that extravagant and gorgeous wedding, and I'm sure if you went, it was extraordinary, but yeah. it, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that they're going to laugh any more on the couch than my husband and I. So, you know, yeah, that's good, true. good luck. That's true. Good luck to them. What I wanted to add is yes. that about five years ago, I was in Nobu and I saw a Gucci bag custom cake yeah. roll by my table. And I grabbed my camera and followed it over. Yes. And there were the Petitas sitting there having a, a birthday oh, party. And that's there's, a cake. there's Kelly. Yes. What a cake, huh? That's and, great. And uh, she worked in New York. Well, thank you so much, Norm. We've run out of time. We want to mention uh, Conversations with Norm is coming up later this month. 16th, and yep. And people can uh, check out your website for more info. Keep up with all things celebrity news. Check out Norm Clark's website, norm.vegas. You can also email him directly. He loves to hear your tips. And we'll be right back.